In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can adjust links in Power Query when you're importing data from another website. So in this example, what I'm going to do is pull in stock ticker prices. And so I'm going to go to data, get from web, and I'm going to populate this link here. So I want the historical data for Apple stock price. And I can just use this download link. So I'm gonna copy that link address, paste it into here, hit okay. And so I'll leave this as a pretty simple query. I'm just gonna pull in the stock prices, not make any changes, but I'll show you how you can adjust this without uh, setting up a variable, which I which I have another video about, about how to, how to use variables. But if you just wanna actually manually adjust the link I'll show you how to so once we've loaded this in power query you want to right click edit and now there are two ways you can do this one you can go to the source here and so this is where you've got that URL so let's say we didn't want to pull an Apple stock price but instead you know let's say we used Google GOG as simple as that and now it'll refresh. Now I've got Google stock prices in there. Another way that you could edit this is going into the advanced editor. So this is going to be the same thing. You've got those same steps in there. And you know, here we can change this back to Apple hit done. And now it changes back. So just like that, you can easily uh, make those changes in, in power query just by editing right in the, the line, which is probably going to be easier or going through the advanced editor option. An easier method would be, but a, but a more time consuming one would be to, to set up a variable. And if you're interested in doing that, I'll, I'll leave a link to, to how you can do that using a variable so that you can you know, just enter the, the value that you want in your URL and then adjust it so that your URL automatically adjusts. So if you want a different ticker, you just type in a, a ticker in here, and then that'll update your Power Query URL. It's a bit more complicated, but that might may be an easier method in the long run. So I'll link to that video as well. But just wanted to show you quickly how you can edit links in Power Query. 